My name is Andrea Ganna and I'm an associate professor at the University of Helsinki and a group leader at the Institute of Molecular Medicine in Finland. My team works on uh, combining uh, electronic health record and uh, genetic data and devising new uh, approaches to use this data for public health interventions. Some example on how this data it can be translated in something that has a direct impact to patient and uh, public health uh, is uh, the use, for example, of polygenic risk score. So we are now testing with our collaborator in Estonia, uh, we are testing the use of polygenic uh, score in a clinical setting and look how polygenic scores can be used to identify individual at high risk for cardiovascular diseases. And among women with breast cancer, we are using polygenic score in combination with other genetic mutation to better understand the risk among the relatives of these women with breast cancer. We have a strong focus on privacy and ethical consideration when working on this data uh, by guaranteeing that only uh, researcher, qualified researcher can access the data and by using very secure computing environment which are not accessible to the outside world and are not connected to the internet. Uh, we think that the use of this data has a very large public health relevance and so um, we balance the public interest of the use with this data with ethical and privacy concern. In the COVID-19 genetic initiative which I've been leading, we put together an international consortium to study the genetic determinants of COVID-19, not from the virus, viral perspective, but from the, our, our genome, the human, the host perspective. And uh, we found uh, many genetic variants across the genomes that contribute to the risk of developing a severe form of COVID-19. And many of these genetic variants has led to the better understanding of biological pathways, uh, which can be used in combination with other studies that use different biological approaches to characterize, the, um, to characterize COVID-19 uh, and the, the reason why some people develop a severe form of COVID-19. Italy has enormous potential to uh, be leading in innovation, especially for the uh, amount of talent that is created across the country by the different university systems. So I think that the talents are there. What is really needed uh, is an uh, investment in infrastructure and flagship projects that can attract uh, people from abroad to work uh, uh, in Italy. So in other words, I think that the potential are there, but to really realize those potential uh, we need some flagship uh, project or some flagship effort that distinguish the research environment in Italy from other research environments in Europe. So.